deathmatch. All right, Atlas. Let's keep this quick and clear. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy X Red. I'm currently the new video, and this video is gonna be about um, the new th uh, changes that have been announced in Call of Duty. Now, um, in this video, when I'm making this video, I'm actually really sick. Um, my throat is killing me. Uh, that's why, you know, my voice might not sound the same. Uh, I'm very ill, but uh, yeah, the day I'm recording this uh, last night when I was watching Gfinity stream, um, like a trailer popped up. Now, I've searched for this trailer all over YouTube, uh, you know, on Sledgehammer's channel, on Call of Duty channel, but I just didn't find it. Um, but, you know, through watching some, like, Alie videos and stuff like that, and, um, like, prestigious key videos, um, it has actually been announced. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, which you might do, um, what I'm talking about is the new Grandmaster Prestige. I made a video on this when it was, you know, first being speculated and, you know, what Michael Condra tweeted out. And I'm, I'm so happy this is actually like happening. I think this is so cool. Now um, let me get into what actually um, this is going to mean. Now Grandmaster Prestige is basically when you get to 50th level Prestige, you um, basically have to get to Prestige Master again, but it's going to be a Grandmaster Prestige. Now you know you're not okay. The way how it's going to work is that you know you're not just going to like reset or get, you know get put back to the beginning or anything. Basically, when you prestige out of Mass Prestige, it's going to be called like Prestige, um, Mass Prestige Level One, Mass Prestige Level Two, Mass Prestige Level Three, and it's the same emblems, the same Prestige emblems as before. It's just you know all like golden and shiny and stuff, and it looks really cool. Now, um, I think this is really good, and one of the main perks of this is that um, when you prestige, you get an elite gun. And it actually, all I know is that it starts out with the Obsidian Steed, which is probably the strongest elite gun, and it's the one that everyone wants. Um, I think, personally, that they should have held this back to one of the last prestiges, one of the last master prestiges, because, you know, it is, it's just, it's such a good gun, and it just melts. And one thing that I really wish they did put in is the AK-12 RIP. The gun is just ridiculous, it has, you know, the damage is really good, and it has zero recoil. You know, there's gameplay of this gun where you, you're shooting people from across the map, and, you know, it, like, it's not moving, like, you, you're, it's a steady shot across the whole map, and uh, not even the bow has that good of, like, recoil, it has zero recoil, the bow, um, like, has none, no recoil, but, um, you know, even if you were to shoot someone across the map, obviously there's going to be recoil and everything, but the AK-12 has zero recoil.